monsters out there in TV land, it's time for a super scary episode of Math Homework Helpers. Boo! Stick around, we'll be right back. Ha! Rah! to our special Halloween Eve episode of Math Homework Helpers. <laughs> this is a show where we get to help you with your math homework and give you prizes just for calling in. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. With us today are two super scary, oh. but really they're actually very nice, yeah. teachers yeah. from Dundalk Middle School. Oh. We have the ghoulish oh. Mr. Kara, oh. but actually she's very super sweet. Mm -hmm. And from Middleborough Elementary School, oh. we have the gruesome Miss Patton. Oh. But again, just super nice. Couldn't be nicer. Yep. Wonderful. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for that extra spooky introduction, Ollie and Max. Sure I thing. gather you two are excited for Halloween tomorrow. Oh, you bet we are, Miss Patton. Max and I can't wait to go out tomorrow evening and go trick or sleeping. Oh, yeah, trick or sleeping. Mm -hmm. Wait. Ollie, did you say trick or sleeping? Uh -huh. I believe you mean trick or treating. But, Mr. Kara, you are so silly. Of course Ollie means trick or sleeping. Mm -hmm. We love it. We go up to all the neighbors' houses, ring the doorbell, and show them either a trick to figure out a math problem, or we lay in their front yard and take a nap. Take it's a nap. It's great. Yep. What was I thinking? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Not to mention, we're always so well rested by the time November hits. Oh, good point. Yep. Yep. Oh, boy. It's always something with you two. Ah. Let's say that we have this ghoulishly ghastly show started. Nice. <laughs> if this is your first time watching, you should know that we have prizes. All you have to do is call into the show with a math question, and then you'll have a chance to win one of our four very cool prizes from our math homework helpers, Puck to Pick a Prize Wall. Ms. Kara, what are our prizes for today? This week's prizes are some pencils, spooky slime, a flashlight, nice. and ooh, a mystery prize. Ooh, the mystery, mystery prize. prize. <gasps> Don't oh, you wait, you know what that is? What? It's a mystery. Oh, no ah. one knows. No one knows. Mystery prize. There it is. And kids, don't forget that after we help our callers with their math problem, we'll drop the puck on the puck to pick a prize wall. And the caller will win whatever prize the puck lands on. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. So let's get things moving and go to the phones. The number to call is 410-494-1459. That number again is 410-494-1459. Max, yeah. who is our first caller today? Our first caller is Aya from Norwood Elementary. Are you there? Is oh Aya, right? Hi. How's Hi. it going, kiddo? Hello. Good. Are you ready for Halloween tomorrow? Yeah. Ooh, are you going to dress up, you think? Yep. What are you going to dress up as? A witch. Ooh, a witch. Nice. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Are you going to go trick or sleeping like Max and I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ow. Hey, speaking of that's dressing right. up, I just noticed that Mr. Karam is Patner dressed up. What are you guys doing? We are. The order of operations. Oh, oh my oh. God. That is amazing. It's and a I, doctor joke. I get I it. I love it. <laughs> love it. It we're, definitely adds up. We're, yes, uh, it does. Uh, we're here awesome. to diagnose your math homework problems. Very cool. Nice. Well, Come you're on. in the right place. because I is. A, a might have a problem. Do you have a math problem for us? Yes. We are ready. We got two doctors here on staff. We're ready for you, Aya. Stat. Stat. During the book character parade, Mrs. Stafford has 30 students in line up in six rows. How many students were in each row? Okay, so she had 30 students in six rows? Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and put up our six rows. That's a lot of kids. Look, she's got a plus on her back. That's ah, great. cool. It does add up. Hey. Okay, really I, uh, there's our six rows, and we have to count out how many students? 30. 30. Okay, so can you help me count out 30? 
Yep. Okay, I'm gonna put one in each row first, okay? Okay. There's one. One. Two. two. Three. three four, four. Five. five six, six. Seven. Eight. eight nine, nine. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. twelve Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Shoo! It's a lot of kids. A lot of kids. That is a lot of kids. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Thank you. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Glad we got a bigger board. Twenty-six. Yeah. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. All right, Whoa. and now what are their names? Starting with the first one. <laughs> yeah, give us all their names. I'm gonna let Aya name them all. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so Aya, we have six rows, right? And we counted out our thirty kids. So now we need to figure out how many are in each row. Oh, that was cool. Nice. Is that what we're trying to find out, Aya? Say it again. Are we trying to figure out how many are in each row? Yes. Excellent. So now we're just gonna count row one. So we have one. Two, three, four, five. We have five friends in each row. Does that help? You, you agree? Yes. Awesome. Did we help you out? Yeah. Do you have nice. to write an equation for it? Yeah, it's 30 divided by 6. Oh, excellent. Cool. So 30 divided by 6 equals... Five. Five. Bam. Very good. You know what those circles look like? Pieces of candy. <gasps> I'm thinking candy. I love candy. I'm you thinking are candy. So ready for Halloween, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any candy? Trick or sleep? Trick or sleep. Trick or sleep. Ah. Hey. All right. Guess what time it is? Oh. oh. It's a little after 4:30 because the, so. the show goes live. Oh, oh it is time, oh. time to pick a prize wall. Let's are do you it. ready? Are you ready, Aya? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I it's, what going it's going down to be. It looks spooky. Ooh, oh, it's, it's a mystery, mystery prize. prize. That's so exciting. Wow. What's it going to be? No one knows. No one knows. We'll send that right out to you. Aya. Thanks so much for calling. Bye bye. 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 So, wait a minute. Aren't you guys going to ask us what we are? Yeah. Oh, what are you guys? All right, so you go ahead first. Oh, I'm famous indie car driver Mario Andretti. Spit an image, buddy. Oh, I Won the 500 in 1969. Spit an image. I, yep. can, I can feel it. Is it because you can fly? Mario. Oh, that's a good one. And ready. <laughs> there huh? it is. Oh, I can fly. Max, who are you? <laughs> who am I? I yeah. I don't know. What about you, Max? I am my, kez, my cousin, Eduardo. Oh. Wow. You yes. look just like it. That's what I thought. I know. How's he doing? He's a, uh -oh. oh, there you are. What? Oh, Max! Oh, 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 oh. oh, you know what? That's okay, Miss Pat. You okay. know what? I'm just going to have to go get another costume. Is that okay. cool? Okay. Yeah, go change. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's Quick get change. You, yeah, Ollie, who's our next caller? Oh, our next caller is Amber from Norwood Elementary. She's in third grade. Hey, Hello. Hello. Hi, Amber. Hi. How are How you today? doing? Good. Hey, Amber, they're going to help you with your problem. I'm going to go get a different uh, costume, and I'll be back. See what we have back Max, here. don't change. We love you just how you are. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, I'll be back. Hey, Those Amber, do you have a math problem for us? Yes. We are ready. What's your question, Amber? Look at the addition chart below. Explain why the number circles are the same. What property is this? So you have to like explain them in the lines. Okay, so I think I have this chart in front of me and it has and it's an addition chart, right? Yes. So what are the numbers that are circled? 11 and 11. Uh, 11 and 11. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to write this up. I might just write the chart up really quick. So you have this chart like this, and there's a plus sign here, right? Beautiful. And there's an 11 here that's circled, and an 11 here that's circled. So oh. what numbers are corresponding with those circled numbers? Um. So what number's over here with this bottom 11? What number's right here? There's either 6 or 11, or 10. OK, so here's a 6, because there is, you're right, there is a 10 here. And then when I go all the way up, there's a five, right? Yeah. And then there's a six here and a five here. Mm -hmm. So what do you think the equations are going to be for this, for this type of addition chart? What are your equations looking like? Um, I'm actually not sure. OK, well, I see because the plus sign, I sort of like have to put my, if I put my fingers on the chart and I say, here's the six and here's the five, and I come together, I'm going to come together at the 11. Yeah. Okay, so we know that we have, and what, and we know it has addition up here, so we know 
6 plus 5 equals 11. So yeah. then if we look at the other one, and if we see here, I know there's like a 10 here and a 9 here. What are we going to have for this other 11? What do you think my equation is going to be for that? Maybe. What number is right here? We could do 5 plus 6. Yeah. Very good. I totally agree. And so we know that when we add those, both those equations together, so right now they're expressions because they don't have an equal sign. But if I add my equal sign, they're going to both equal 11. So we know that these are equal equations. So now there was a question about properties. Since your teacher is asking about properties, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write 6 plus 5 equals 5 plus 6. And in this case, our equal sign is like saying it's true. true. An equal sign just means it's true. true. So we're saying it's a true statement that 6 plus 5 equals 5 plus 6. But what property is that? Mm. We, we actually, we were talking about this here a little bit before. Sometimes we talk about, so when I leave home and I commute so like the, to work. The superlative property of addition? It is the commutative it. property of there addition. Yeah. So that's exactly what it is. And can you, Mr. Carr was just saying something really that's helpful. When you think of the commute and go right. ahead. And so when I leave home and I commute to school to go to work, let's say it's 13 miles. When I leave school and commute back home, it's still going to be 13 miles. So that's the commutative. That helps me remember what commutative property is. Mm -hmm. But what I need mainly help on is what I should write down for the lines, where the lines are. OK. So you're going to write out that it's the commutative property of addition. Do you have that written in your notebook, in your math notebook? No. Oh, we you can don't? spell it out for you. Oh, okay. I might need some help with that one. <laughs> you got so, it. So we teach math, not spelling. Yeah. The C O M N. K. C-O-M-N-U. There's a K in there. What did you say? There's a K in there. No K. <laughs> and an L. Don't forget the L. A two. A two. Okay. A two. Right, right this. There's yeah, a right P in there, too. Oh, and maybe a, a Q. Is there a Q? Sorry. K. Communative. Get the M. Don't forget out. the M. Holly? Huh? Holly, you're sort of messing right. me up a little bit. <laughs> That's my it. job. Okay. Hello. Right. <laughs> Commutative property. Don't forget the R. There's two R's. There's two Z's, too, right there, mm -hmm. next to each other. What Double I just Z. Do? Z. Is this correct, everybody? Z. I feel like it's wrong. Commutative. Commutative. Well, hey, it's not a spelling it show. To be. It's a math show. Commutative, Good enough. C O M M U N, Z. communicative property. Communicative. There's a Z in there. Can we get some help with this? In the <laughs> <laughs> could my earpiece fell out. Um, a, no, that looks got, right. No, is it's it the commutative C -O -M -M -U -T -A -T -I -V. property. U T A T I V. No N. There's no N. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's right, we're all lifelong learners. This is why I teach math. There we go. <laughs> Tune in next week, kids, for a that spelling show. That is actually, show. and it looks correct. So put now a, I put feel more confident. Put a T between the U and the A. Put so a T between the U and the A. T between the U and the A. Commutative. Oh, my goodness. T, stick a T right there. There we go. I'll take some T. <laughs> I is think I need Earl a break Gray? from all this, Amber. You this know what is we need to do? pretty exciting. We need to drop a puck. We need to drop a puck. But one other thing you need to write is what that means. And it means that you can change the order in the equation. So I can spell all of that. I know I'm confident in my spelling there. So let's make sure I have the pen. I'm a great speller. So it means that you're going to change, you can change the order. So I'll write change the border. Mm -hmm. Order in the equation. OK? So that's what it means. So that's really what's important about this property is that it means what the order is. And you can also use this property with multiplication. multiplication. So it can be used with addition or multiplication. But not but, subtraction whew, or division. Not subtraction or division. But or addition, spelling. which is who I am today. But I really think we both get a prize for this one, personally. Yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> so let's drop, the, let's drop it and see what you get today. Let's see what happens. OK, you ready, Amber? Here we go. Ooh. Oh, the pencil nice. balloon. That's a palooza. That's exciting. Excellent. That is great. Kids totally get the Lala Palooza reference, too.
I like those pencils too because everybody in your class is going to know that you are the one that called in. Hey, so Mr. Kara. Really cool. Yeah. Turn around. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> it's pretty good, right? That's great. Is that Max, is that you? I, yeah, I, I love it. There's a big spider on my head you and I can't see anything. Him. You look great. Oh, oh scary. Great, great, that scary. is very scary. I'm not so, sure what's scarier, the spider or the mask. I'd say this. I'd say the spider. Oh wait, there's a mask. But, but two what? Oh, there is a mask. There you notice. go. That's why he was able to spell so well for oh, us. Oh, there you oh. go. Oh, oh, no. oh careful with your head. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Will you put I, it back on? There you go, bud. Oh, Thank you. All right, is Jacqueline there? Yes. All right, let's hop on our next Hello. car and we'll get a different, a different mask on. Yeah. 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 Jacqueline, you got a math problem for us? Yes. We are ready. All right. Camila went to the party store and and had to buy candy for 25 goodie bags. Okay, so 25 goodie bags. She bought a bag of 42 candies. Mm. Can she divide that equally into 25 bags? Okay. Is that the whole question? Yes. All right, Jacqueline, so let me ask you one question. How is your teacher teaching you to do problems like this at school? So um, we use arrays or we do like the algorithm or like oh. tally marks. Okay. Using your brain is a great place to start though. You so know? what we could do, we could do this a couple of different ways. We could certainly use the algorithm. We could draw 25 bags and try to count out the 42 candies, which is probably going to take a really long time. Or we can also look at our ending numbers and see in our ones place and see that one is an odd number and one is an even number. Ooh, I like this. And trick. kind of think about it that way and just make a reasonable estimation or hypotenuse or well I think it's really neat it's because 25 Hypothesis? bags is like a number I, it's so easy to do in my head yeah because you like, can count by five exactly and I know like if I had two bags that would be 50 right two so sets. that already more yeah. than that 42 candies so so just thinking, just thinking about, about it yeah. and not doing any math at all do you think we could evenly fit the 42 candies into the 25 bags what Jack, do you think? Um, you still with me? Maybe not because 25 is an odd number because you can't divide. You, If you have three people, you can't um, split it in half because one person will be left out. You are so correct. Did you we don't want to leave anyone out. <sighs> Did you? No, we don't want to leave anyone out, especially not on Halloween. Nope. Did you <laughs> need to show your work for this problem or did you just need to answer and give a reason why you believe that? Jack. Um, get, give an, like, give an answer and a reason why you think that's the correct answer. Okay, so you could certainly use the reason what we just talked about, 25 being an odd number, and if I doubled those sets of bags, that's 50, and if I double 42, what do I have if I double 42? 40, 84. 84, yeah, good job. right. So that is never wow. going to work, is it? That's a great eight. So do you want to see how to set up the algorithm as well? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna have 42 candies divided so by huh? 25 so. bags. So how many groups, when we have 42, how many groups of that 25 do you think will come out of that um, 42? Can we do it two times? Oh. Because what's two groups of 25? What is it? 50. 50. Yeah. So 50. that's too many. So that is way too many. So we would only be able to fit or do one group of 25. So everybody is going to get one piece of candy. And 1 times 25 is? 25. 1 point. Oh, you what? already did the math. Jacqueline's jumping ahead. You? So I'm, I did 1 times 25, and then I have to subtract, so I regroup, making my 4 a 3, and making my 2 a 12. And 12 minus 5 is? Um, 
9. 12 minus 5. 12, I'm sorry. 12 minus 5. 7. 7. Wait, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. Now, I'm now, 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 now my math skills. <laughs> and three minus one or three minus two is one. So you have seventeen. This means you have seventeen pieces left over. So I'll eat them. You could write one remainder seventeen. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I just got startled by something back there. Because what? if there's only seventeen pieces left over, Jacqueline, mm -hmm. we can't give each of the twenty-five bags of candy, right? And Ollie told us, don't leave anybody out. Yeah. That's not Unless right. you want to give those candies to us. I would take Max and I need 17 candies. We'll take oh, the leftovers. Yeah. No problem. <gasps> so does, that, always, help, does that help you out, Jacqueline? Did that help you out, Jacqueline? Yeah. All right. All right. You know what it's time for? Good job. Wait, it's time to tell you something, Ollie. What? what? I am your father. Oh, oh, man. I see the oh, resemblance. Goodness. Too bad we're getting ready to drop this special thing here. Here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. Ooh, a oh, flashlight. A I always love having a flashlight around. It's like a lightsaber. It, it, it kind of looks like one. Thank you for calling. Bum, 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 now, does bum, this mean that we... Bum, bum. Wait, what? I'm Darth Vader. No, oh, ah. I see it. That's now, good. how many costumes is that now, Max? Well, that's only a couple. Oh. Ah. Ah. It's OK. OK. Max, maybe it's my turn to go oh. change. Yeah, go change. OK, yeah. I'll be back. Max, you do the next call. Miss Conway, take it off and step up. OK, do the next call. I'll be back. Okay. Our next caller is Amaya from Norwood. Are you there? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Are you excited yeah. at tomorrow's I'll Halloween? I'll give you Max's yeah. costume. Okay. Awesome sauce. Do you like candy, too? Huh? Do you like candy? Yes, I do. I yeah. like chocolate. Oh, oh yeah, chocolate's too. good stuff. Yep, yep, yep. You know what else is good stuff? Solving math problems. Amaya, what's your yeah. math problem for us today? My math problem what? What would the number, what would the number 40, 40, 445 would be rounded to the nearest template, complete the number line. Show your work. Show your yeah. work. Show your work. So the and number. And you're thinking. Oh, and you're thinking. That's so important. So to mm. the nearest tens place. So what do we, what do we know? I'm going to, before I even do that, I'm going to draw my number line right here because this really helps us when we're rounding. We, we really need to think about our numbers. Yep. So I mm -hmm. always sort of start with my, if I'm going to do the nearest tens place, what number, what number do you think I should start my number line with for this type of 50. problem? Say that one more time. 450. I didn't hear it. What was that? 450. 450. 450. Okay, sorry. So 450. And why did you choose 450? That's a really good because choice. Because if you go back one, it yeah. would be it would be one. That's a ten, basically. Well, it is. And so what I do is I go to that. If I'm rounding to my tens place, I look at my tens place, and that helps me think. Oh, I need to start less than my number here, so 450. So what number mm -hmm. should be my ending number for this problem on my number line? Uh, 500. OK. So I get one all the way up to 500. So this number line is going to be representing 50 here. So mm -hmm. if I, so the middle, I'm going to just put a little middle here, is going to be 475. So that sort of just helps me think about my numbers. So what do, you, what do you think 455 to the nearest tens place is going to be? I have a question. Okay. I might why have the answer. D. Why wouldn't it be 155? Why wouldn't the answer be 100 and 455? No, the middle. Because, uh, oh, I see. Well, if we had changed the number line to 450 here, and then went uh, up a whole group of 10 to 460 mm -hmm. instead of to 500, then what would the middle be? 455. That's right. Well, so if you want to use, I like this second number line for this problem. So if you have that written down, you should keep that written down. Because this is where our number is. 
So now where are we going to go? Where are we rounding to with this problem? Are we We're rounding. Well, I think with the bottom one, you have to go with greater to. So it's going to round up to what number? 460. Exactly. There you go. So you're absolutely right. So your answer is 460. And, and how do we how do we know that? How do we know? Well, if it's in the middle like that, couldn't it go either way? Well, when it's when we when it's in the middle, we go always go up. Ah. So, but if it was five above, give, give it, it a shove. Ah. Four below, four we below, let it go. Let it go. Nice. So if it was four hundred and fifty-four, we would have rounded down to four hundred fifty to the nearest ten. Oh. But since it's four hundred fifty-five, once we get to that five, we're going to go up. Okay. So that was a tricky question because you really have to tricky. think about it. That's a tricky or treaty. And good that was job, tricky. It's a, it's a trick or sleeping? Trick or sleeping! There you go. That's a good, that's good. All right, Amaya, why, do you feel better about the problem now? Yes. Awesome. Great. You know I what else makes me feel good is doing the Problems. puck on that wall. Here it is. Drop the puck, please. All right, here we go. I wonder what it's going to be. Ooh, Ooh. another flashlight. Flashlight. Congratulations, Amaya. Thanks for calling. That was a great question. Yeehaw! Oh, look at Oh, I love oh, it. Oh, no, it's, don't, don't fall off. Don't fall off. So it's hard being a cowboy. <laughs> I'm a sheriff. You're a sheriff? Yeah, I'm like a rock star sheriff. See my red hair? It's like oh, rock star. I like star. that rock star sheriff. Yeah. It's serious. You guys ready for another call? Who needs well, something fixed are. around oh, here? Oh, Ollie! I, am I the, do. I am the construction worker that gets the job done. Max, you look so serious. Yes, I'm serious This hat now. is not going to happen. It needs to come off. Oh, is your hat falling off? Yeah. That's embarrassing. Just, just take it off. Wait a minute. It's sort of stuck to your hair. It's stuck to your hair, though, Ollie. So it's it, tough it, when you it got all this fur on you. I think we're doing a great job, though, Max. Absolutely. We are really professional. <laughs> we hey, are let's winning. let's head over to the Timonium area. Take the next caller. Next caller. Let's see who we have now. Charlotte, are you there? Yes. Are you? Are you are you calling from Pinewood Elementary School? Yeah. Awesome. All right. I got lots of friends Hi, over there. Do you know Miss Reader? Yes. Oh, she's super cool, isn't she? Yeah. Tell her Max says hi, okay? Okay. All right, cool. So, what's your problem for us, kiddo? So, um, I need to round two. I need to round five hundred thirty-six to the nearest hundred. Oh boy. Round and round we go. Hey, that's good. You know what else you is like round? That? Pumpkins. Oh, I love huh? pumpkins. Okay. Look at the one down there. I know, it's scary. It's taking my hair. Let's Charlotte. Oh, hair. no. Oh. oh. That was weird. Dragon was called it. Time for a yep. new costume. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. Let's stay focused. So, math, math, focus. 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 Back on math. Charlotte, yes, we're stop. rounding to the nearest hundred? Yeah. Oh, awesome. So we just had a rounding problem before mm -hmm. with Amaya, but she was rounding to the tens. We're going to round to the hundreds. But I bet you that same trick works with hundreds place. So we talked about how we're rounding to the hundreds, so that's the one we're looking at, but we actually have to look at this guy over here, right? That number, okay. and decide whether our five is gonna stay the same. So we're either gonna be at 500, or the five is gonna go up to 600. Okay. So Charlotte, sure. what do you think that three would tell the five to do? Is it gonna tell him to stay where he is, don't move, or to go up to six? Well, in class, we were talking about how it depended on if um, it was a five in the, in the tens place. Is that actually true? Right, well, this time we have a three in the tens place, right? So yeah. think about it, is, <laughs> is, that, is it closer to 500 or closer to 600? Right, so if we did our number line again, and we would have 550 right in the middle. Whoops. We'll fix that. Um, so I think it'd be closer to 500. Right, because it's going to be in between here and not in between the 550 and 600, right? So it's just estimate right around here somewhere. So that means 536 is going to round to what number, Charlotte? 500. 500. And did you also Nicely need to done. explain your thinking? Oh, no. No?
Yes, I do. So then we helped you. Hey. And if your teacher asks tomorrow, you can explain your thinking. Does that sound good, kiddo? <laughs> All right. I think okay. she said, yeah, so, it's a little hard to hear. Oh, well, oh. she's ready for a prize. Right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we Let's go. Let's drop that I'll book. All the way over here. Let's see where it goes. No one's won slime yet today. Oh, <laughs> flashlight. Another flashlight. Congratulations, Charlotte. Nice. Good job. Thanks, Thanks for coming in. Those would be good. I bet you those parents are happy that nobody's winning slime. Oh, those flashlights would be good, especially if you're trick or treating. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes. I got a headlamp. Oh, they'll be great. Yeah. Oh, you got the headlamp. Yep. Oh, that's good. Uh -oh. Oh, that's good. Get you're your eye on things. Uh -oh. I'm a major. <laughs> yeah. You're a minor. I'll be minor. You'll you be go. able to see trick or sleeping tomorrow. Oh yeah. Yep. Absolutely. For sure. Ooh. Definitely. Yep. You guys ready for another call? I'm ready. Yes. Mamie, are you there? Yeah. It's my buddy. How you doing, Mamie? Hello. How are you? Good. We're so glad you called. We love when you call. Do you have a math problem for us? Yes. Oh. I'll put that down oh, there. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right, Mamie, so what is your problem for us today, kiddo? 3,756 marathon runners run in a five-mile run. Five-mile run? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's okay. a good one. So 3,756. 1,200. And thirty-six dropped out. How many? How many runners are, are there still completing the race? Okay, so what are we going to do for this yeah. problem? Okay. What do you think we're doing to solve this problem? If we started with three thousand seven hundred fifty-six runners, and then some of the runners dropped out, what are we going to be doing to figure out how many dropped out? Oh. Subtraction. I agree. We are going to be doing subtraction. I got that. Right here. Oh, yeah. Right here. We have order subtraction order. over here in our order of operations. So when we subtract, what are we going to be doing first? You see, I lined it up, so my place value is lined up. So what am I going to subtract first? The one place. That's right. And this is then oh, yeah. 6 minus 6. That's easy. Mm -hmm. Zero. And then what am I going to subtract? 5 minus 3. Which is? 2. Great. And then? 7 minus 2. Which is? 5. Perfect. Nicely done. And finally? 3 minus 4. Which is? 2. Good. That's I like it. how Mamie worked through that very well. So now with this number, with it has four digits, I, get, I have to put a comma, and it's going to help me read the number correctly. Where is the comma going to go? In between the two and the five. That's right. And that comma tells you to say, in this case, the word thousand. So 2,520 runners were left, right? Yes. Very That's good. still a lot of runners. Very good job. And that's a reasonable answer. Sometimes you have to think about it, like, oh, well, does this make sense? If I, and I could sort of look at this and be like, well, this is sort of close to 3,000, and this is sort of close to 1,000. If yep. I subtracted that, it does make sense. Totally. So that's makes great. Sense. Great job. Good job. Yeah, good job. All right. Are you ready? So maybe we're not done with you yet. Yeah. Now it is time to spin. Nothing, because we now have a <laughs> puck the big prize wall. Great job, puck. Here we go. It kind of did spin its way down there. There you go. I was just trying to put yeah. a new spin on everything. Yeah, I like that. Living in the spin I'm zone. I'm about this mission. Yeah, rock and roll. Oh, I know. Rock and roll. We'll have to yeah. see. Thank you for calling, baby. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Hey, you, got, you guys want to do another caller, or do you want to break for Parcheesi? Parcheesi. I like cheese. No, we're going to do more math. All right, let's do it. I'm on it. Are you talking? Huh? Oh, go ahead. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. You do it. Amaya, are you there? Yes. Hey, how's Newtown Elementary School going? Good. Is Mr. Redmond still there in the library? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Joe, no. I guess, I guess. I'm going to go with no. not making a good impersonation <laughs> anymore. No. Check it out Impression, tomorrow. not impersonation. Or impersonation. There you go. Not doing much if you're not there. Anyway, hey, Amaya. Amaya, what's your question for us, kiddo? The multiple of nine and the other factor. Oh. The multiples of nine and what else? Yeah, the other good. factor of, of it. Oh, the other factor? So we start off at 18. 
Okay, so we're gonna do multiples first, right? Yeah. So I like to set that up, and actually, I like to start with nine because nine times one equals nine, and then easy. nine times this two equals. Part cheesy. Yeah. Eight. Nine. Eighteen. Eighteen. 18. Awesome. Hey. And then nine times three equals. Uh, is it twenty-seven? Very good. And nine times four. Twenty-eight. Well, wait a minute, nine oh. times three is 27. 30. So nine times four would be? 30. 36. 36. Good, and 36. Nine, times, nine times five? I actually thought she said 36. Mm -hmm. 43. Lose my hearing. 45, so I'm gonna show you a little trick. I see a pattern in these numbers and I want you to tell me if you see them too. <gasps> They're all green! I caught it. No, that's I blue, it. that's blue. Oh, it's blue? Nice try, Max. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Is that blue? So notice how our tens place is going up. So we start with one, two, three, four, and mm -hmm. our ones place Wait, is really? going down. Eight, wow. seven, six, five. Whoa. Holy moly. It's like magic. Yeah. So if I go to now, I'm on nine times six. What do you think my answer is going to be? Fifty-four. Yeah. <sighs> 50. Are those numbers six. haunted? And then wait, would it be 63? Yep. Oh my gosh, it is. This is amazing. I never looked at math like this, this before. This seems crazy. Mr. Kara? 54. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. If I had and a mind, mind be blown. blown. There it is. What? Yeah, it's 63. And the other one is 63. I'm going to put that over that leaf. And then it would be 72. And then. And then. Eight. I mean, this. Um, 72. Eight Come on, you can fit the And animal. then 81. We'll put this down here, and then we'll put the 90. I ran out of room. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So what are we doing voyage. with all these multiples now of 9? So now we have to find the other factors to these numbers. Oh, well, that's cool, because we just did that, right? So the factors of 9 are what? So we started, for our paper, we started off with 18. Okay. And that is... Two, because nine times two equals 18. Good, so 18 would be two times nine, and I'm gonna use that little dot. Does your teacher ever use that instead of the multiplication symbol? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, oh, good, because it means the same thing, and when you get to algebra, which you'll be there in no time, you're gonna wanna use that little dot instead of the X for the multiplication. So the factors, what are the two factors of 27? Uh, three. Very good. Nine and three. And the factors of 36? Um, nine and four. Nine and four. You are on a roll. And then what's next? I think she's on the phone. Yeah, but she's rolling she on the phone. She might be rolling on the phone. Oh, okay. Nine and five. Nine and five. Very good. Working and nine and five. And then nine and six and then nine and seven. Very good. And then good I'm going to go up here. 63 is seven and nine. Seven and nine. 72 is eight and nine. 81 is nine and nine. And then what's 90? 91. What are the two factors of 90? Oh, 10 and nine. 10 and nine, good job. Nice, Amaya. Is that all you needed to do? Yes. Wow. Oh, excellent, well I love that. That's and a lot though. What? You can go show your friends that pattern that we made when we made the multiples of nine. Mm -hmm. So did we help you out? You ready to go trick or sleeping right now? Yeah! Woo! Woo! I think it's time to drop the puck for a mile. We ready? Right. Let's, Let's do here it. Here we go. She gets here the we go. Where's it gonna go? Ooh! Another, another mystery, mystery prize! prize. Wow. You know what? It's about this point in the show where I really hope the mystery prize is pretty good. Because holy moly, we got a lot yeah. of people digging it up. It's gonna be great. Hey, what do you think? I love your costume, Max. What are you? I am a knight in the daytime. I like it. Daytime <laughs> night. Daytime night. Daytime night. I love it. I love ah, it. Ah, ah, he's Max ah. again. We're gonna see Bye, how many Maya. helmets we can drop. Thanks for calling in. You we guys ready for another call? tally of your costumes, guys. Yeah, we're going to put them all on this side. Yeah, okay. Good idea. One at a time. <laughs> all right, so let's see who we have here. Tristan, are you there? Hi, Tristan. Hello. I'll be right back and see if I find someone. Okay. Uh, Tristan, hello. Hello. Hi, Hi. How are you? 
Doug. Good. We're glad you called. Do you have a math problem for us? Yep. We are ready. We have two doctors on staff tonight. Ready to go. We're ready. So I got what is 37 rounded to the nearest 10 slice? 47? 37. 37. Okay. To the nearest tens place? Yes. You guys are spending a, a lot, lot of, of rounding going on. Where are the fire? So when I go, when I'm rounding to the tens place, what number is in my tens place right now? So there's 30 in the tens place. So there's a three and that's 30 for 10. So can you see on your TV screen that I drew a number line? Yes, I so can. Can you I'm, see me? Hello. Can, can you see Ollie? No yeah. costume. I look awesome. How about the fireman? Oh, oh, here comes Max. Max has another costume, though. So what's my next group of 10? So if I have 30 here, what's my next group of 10 going to be? The next, the next group of 10 would be 40. Yeah. And so that helps us figure out our number line. So the middle is going to be 35. And we know 37 is going to be about right here. So what are we going to round 37 to? Is it going to round down to 30? or up to 40? So I think it is going to round up to 40. You're right. Good 37 job. is closer to 40. And there's sometimes a trick that you may have heard. Have you, has your teacher talked to you the trick yet? Uh, well, she did teach me that she said she had like this little chant and it was five and above, give it a shove, four and below, let it go. Yep, that's, that's right. right. So we can look here, if we go back to our number, if we look, we have a one, uh, in our ones place, we have this seven right here. And this seven is going to tell you what to do to your tens place. And what is that seven telling you to do? Because seven is above five. So what's it telling us to do? You look great. The seven is telling, is going to tell the three to turn into a 40. Yep. You change it to the fourth. Very You're good. giving it a shove. Shove good it. Good job. Shove it. Give it a shove. Well, that was great. Ms. Are Pan, you ready for a prize? Fire. Yes. He's on fire. You have sparked our interest. Oh, no. oh! I told you we're going to put them all down there. I don't even know what to say about these costumes Give us time. here. Give us time. We'll get them all down there. All right, Tristan, we're not done with you yet. Guess what time it is? What time? It's time to Yay. drop the puck on the puck maker prize wall. Here, here we go. go. Right, here we go. I'm telling you, it has to be slime. Somebody's got to win the slime. Um, oh, oh there you go. Nice. You got the slime. It's rigged. Just Are you? A, <laughs> oh, look, see how excited he is. I knew all, this, all the kids Teachers want love the slime. Oh, yes, yeah. as do parents. So I think we're going to get ready to go. We are. So you know we use math so many ways in life, not yes, just do. in math class. Let's head out to the streets of BCPS to see who Maria is talking to now. All right, I love these things. Math on the street. Hola, yo soy Maria, and I love math. Here at BCPS, we use math every day, everywhere, and in every office and school. Come with me, I'll show you how. Today, I'm here at Riderwood Elementary with instrumental music teacher, Mr. Muller. How you doing, Maria? I'm great, thanks for asking. Can you tell me how you use math in music class? Yeah, sure. Actually, we use math all the time. One of the biggest ways musicians use math is by counting beats. And we do that so we know when to play our notes and how long to play those notes for. For example, if I wanted to play a whole note, and if this was my beat, a whole note lasts for four beats, it would sound like this. And we call that a note value, that its value is four beats long. But if I want, I could play a shorter note and cut a whole note in half. So if I have a whole note which gets four beats, mm -hmm. and I cut that in half, now all of a sudden I'm just playing a note that gets two beats, and of course we call that a half note. And it sounds half like note. this. There you go. And we can go even farther. If you want to play even shorter, you could cut a half note in half, and if that's two beats, half of two is just one, and those are called quarter notes, and they just get one beat a note. But here's where it gets interesting in music, because if you want, you could actually play shorter notes. You could cut a quarter note in half, 
and get an eighth note. And the neat thing about eighth notes are they're only a half a beat a piece, so actually it takes two eighth notes to equal one beat. And they sound really fast like this. And you can go even farther. If I wanted, I could take an eighth note and cut it in half, and I'd be left with a sixteenth note. Or I could take a sixteenth note and cut that in half, I'd have a thirty-second note. And if I cut that in half, a sixty-fourth note, and so on and so forth. And if you notice, these are all fractions, right? Yeah. So this is just commonplace in mathematics. Well, it's also commonplace in music. And the best part is, when you put all that together, whole notes and half notes and quarter notes and eighth notes, and you add different pitches, you can play anything you want. Wow, that's so cool. Who knew that you used fractions in music class? There you go. Thank you so much for sharing. Thanks for coming out, Maria. Adios. Adios. Man, that was what one that's a handsome looking man back there, I tell you what. I think that's Kenny G. Was that Kenny G? He plays oh, the sure. sax. I'm not sure. I think that's him. Boy, he really knew what he's talking about though, didn't he? Sure he did. did. Yeah. He I love it. Might have been David Sanborn. David Sanborn? Yeah, I don't know. Kinda of look like Tom Cruise to me. Max, what are you what are you wearing? <laughs> what? Oh, what I'm is like, that? I'm, what was that? Oh, I am now side face man. Side face. <laughs> I had to put my shades on, man. These lights are just I'm telling you. I hear you. The bright. You know? You guys ready for another caller? Ready. We are ready. ready. Tori from Featherbed, are you there? Hello. No. How Hi, you Tori. doing, Tori? Good. How about you? I'm good. Are you excited for Halloween? Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Me too. Max, you're struggling, uh, man. Uh, I hope your uh, costume doesn't do uh, that tomorrow night when we're trick or sleeping. Oh, you know, I tell you what. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do more sleeping than trickering. I Max, think you know what you should do? You should go as an orange monster tomorrow. <gasps> Mm -hmm. That'd be great, right? I've always Perfect. wanted to be an orange yeah. monster. But this could be your pillow for oh, trick or yeah, treating. Oh, just lay down. Hold on, just lay down. Is he? <laughs> oh, he's out cold. Oh, oh that's Sally. Oh, 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 now he's awake. <laughs> oh. Hey, Tori, you ready with a math problem? Yes. All we, right. We are ready. Mine is 584 times 48. Oh, well. 584 times 48. 48? 48 is great. 48. Should we estimate this first, just so we know we if our- We can definitely estimate I'm that. And that I was gonna also gonna problem. ask Tori, are you using the algorithm or are you using some other method in class? Excuse so, me. Tori, how's your teacher telling you how to solve these problems? We use area models. Area model, okay. So do you wanna estimate first? All right, so if, we've been doing a lot of that rounding thing. So if we estimated 584, what would that be? That would be... Like closer to 500 or closer to 600? If we estimated what? 584. Because this will help us figure out if our answer is reasonable. Right. So are we going to say 584, is that closer to 500 or closer to 600? Hey, repeat, hey, repeat the question. 584, if we were going to round to the nearest 100, would it be closer to 500 or to 600? What do you think, kiddo? 600. Oh, yeah, there you go. Good yep. job, I agree. 600. How about 48? Is that going to be closer to 40 or closer to 50? 50. 50. Yep. So if we wanted to go ahead, and because now these are powers of 10, we could easily multiply that. So what's 6 times 5? Six times five? Uh-huh. Thirty. Thirty. And then we're just going to annex those three zeros in our answer. And we should get something close to 30,000. So it's let's see if that's going to work. Uh, are those pieces of candy we're counting? Oh, I hope so. Nice. Oh, so much candy. Right. Okay, so we're going to do an area model, right? Yes. All right. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's the big thing right now. That is nice. Fourth grade math, lots of area modeling. <laughs> are you familiar with them? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I got some friends who are doing that right now. I'm sure. OK, and then we're going to put this in half like that. So this is going to be our 500. This is going to be our 80. So all I'm doing, Tori, is just breaking my number apart. And Almost then, like expanded form. Yes and our 40 and our 80. So we saw how easy that was, right? To do six times five and then just annex those zeros onto our answer. 
Yes. Okay, good. Right. So this is going to be really easy for us. So we have to do four times five. Okay, four times five is 20. 20. And how many zeros do I have to annex on to that? One. I'm going to do one, two, three. It's always tricky when your answer of the product ends in a zero, and then you yes. have to still annex those three additional that zeros off. That is tricky. Off. I always go back and count, yep. just that? like we did Wait, there. Wait, I think I know the answer. Ghost hand. Oh, Ghost you already hand. got the answer? The answer for one of the boxes. Okay, oh, what's okay, the next good. box? So four times eight? 20,000. Oh, good. Yep, it was 20,000. So what's four oh. times eight? Four times eight is? 32. 32. Go. And I'm going to annex how many zeros? Three. Just two. One in 80, one in 40 now. So that's how I keep going back and just looking at the two numbers that I'm multiplying. So now I have 40 times 4. So what's 4 times 4? Four? 4 times 4? Four? Uh-huh. 66. 61. 4 times 4 is going to be 16. But we still got to do what? And I need to annex that other zero, right? So now I have 160. And then I'm going to go down here, Tori, to 8 times 5. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be, if I can't find my 5s, that's going to be 40. And I have to yeah. annex, good, two more zeros because there's two in 500, but there are none in 8. I love these area models. This is so cool how you guys do this at school. Yeah. And then it is eight. nice, but it really breaks it down so it's easy to see. It mm -hmm. does. So eight yeah. times, do you know eight times eight, Tori? Yes. What is that? 64. Good job. Great. And how many zeros do I need to annex on to the end of 64? Um, is it one? Just it one. Yep. Just one. Good job. Yeah. Because we eight did months. eight times eight, but that was really 80. That's why we need to put that zero on there. And then eight times four is, oh, we did that one yeah. before. You want me to answer eight times four? Yeah. Yep. Or four times eight. We did it right here with 40 and 80. Could you repeat re re the question, please? So we're just doing eight times four. We got to finish the last box. The last box, eight times four. So I score it is 32. There 32. You go. There you go. Excellent. So wait, do we need, wait, wait, wait. Do are we, we need done? a zero? Do we annex? Are there no. any zeros? No, no, no zeros. zeros. No zeros to be had here. Nope. So what are we going to do now? Do we just leave it like that? No, you have to A all of them together. We oh, have to wow. add all of them together. Excellent. Nice. So I'm just going to go down first. Okay, so I did my zero plus my zero, my zero plus that zero, zero plus this zero, zero plus four, Woo. and then my two. A lot of zeros. That is a lot of zeros. I'm going to put my comma in so I don't forget. So this one, Tori, I'm going to do zero plus zero is? Zero. Zero. Plus zero. zero. Yeah. Zero plus four is? Four. Four. Two plus six is? Eight. And then Eight. bring down yep. my three. Put my comma in, and then zero plus two, I'm on my last column finally, is two. Three plus six is nine. Three plus six? Three plus six? Yep. Nine. Three plus six? Nine. Yep. Right, and yep. then I bring my one down. Am I done yet? Yep, sounds good. Yep. Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, wait, we're not done. Wait, wait, wait. We're not done. So now, Tori, what do I have to do with these three numbers? Yes, to. Because I just added the columns together. So now I need to add each one of these. So I'm just rewriting them over here so we can add these together. I love how you lined up the place value. I bet you that's where a lot of people make mistakes. Oh, I'm yeah. yeah. Because doing that multiplication was pretty easy, but then when you add it up. Hand? You yep. want to make sure you keep them in a straight line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you put all those zeros on there, it makes it a little more complicated. It does. Even though they're just zeros. They're just zeros. So here's zero plus zero plus two. 
is two. Is two, Great. excellent. Nice. Zero plus four plus nine is? Four plus nine. Four plus nine. Thirteen. Thirteen. There you go. Yep. I need to regroup my one. So one plus eight plus one. One plus eight plus one. Uh-huh. Ten. Awesome. So I put down my zero and now I have to regroup my one again and I have one plus four plus three. One plus four plus three. Almost like four, so plus, four, four. plus four. Yep. Nine. Four Good. plus four. We're going to do eight. So I, I the added one the one rough. plus the three is four plus four. And I bring down my two. I have to put my comma in. Woo. Oh, so can you read that number with me? 28,032. Great. Woo. And it's really close to our estimation, 30,000. That's did pretty we do? awesome. That was like the Twilight Zone right there. Well, we need a bigger board, don't we? We do need a bigger board. Mr. Kara, that's a ton of work, but it's kind of easy once you figure out how to do it, right? It is. It's bad matter just putting things in the boxes. Yep, setting it up and then lining it up. That's awesome. There you I go. love Bad Matt line has up. all these cool tricks. Let's all right. set up that puck. Toy, we're not done with yet. It's time to drop the puck for you. Here oh we go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Do you want slime? Is that what you're after? Let's see what it's going to be. Let's see. Oh. Oh, oh Pat knows what she's doing on that thing. <laughs> I figured out the trick. Slime. Really? Thanks for coming really? in. Thank you. Man, oh. oh, man. Oh, I can't believe it, guys. Guess What's what? That? What? What? It's That's all the time we have for <gasps> this episode. What? Isn't oh, my goodness. Crazy? Oh, man. Be sure to turn just in, in next week. Oh. And remember, we do re-air each episode, so be sure to watch. We look forward to seeing everybody again next time. Only, Only here, here on BCBS TV. Oh, it's time, guys. Trick or sleeping. Trick or sleeping. <laughs>